Most adults will admit that another life force could exist that we don't know about. Our first thought is aliens, but have you considered that fairies and pixies might exist right alongside us? Is it possible? From a skeleton in a falcon's nest to a fairy caught on a trail cam, here are 15 pieces of evidence that fairies actually exist. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. That being said, let's begin. Number 15, Slow Motion Fairy. It's all well and good to believe in fairies, but where's the proof? Here it is. A YouTuber by the name of Coco Puff uploaded footage from her home security camera that was picked up at night. The footage, which ran for a little over one minute, showed a small creature flying in front of the camera. It was too large to be a moth, too small to be a bird, but still had wings. It was also dragonfly-like in appearance. Coco Puff first showed the video at its natural speed, but slowed it down so viewers could get a better look. While it's hard to see the fairy clearly due to night vision, it does have distinctive fairy-like features. This is the type of video that requires you to be the judge. Is it a fairy or some kind of insect? Watch the video and form your own opinion, but don't you dare leave it in the comments. Now it's time for the star topic. We are yet to explore every inch of this planet, and so we'll never know if fairies truly exist. But it's hard to deny what's in this photo. There are two carved faces in stone with ivy and tussocks forming the hair. They're in an isolated wooded area with no one around, but showing signs that some form of life might exist here. What are these stones? Are they proof that fairies live in isolated parts of the world? Comment down below with the hashtag star topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Fairy Caught on Security Camera Fairies are supposedly mythical or legendary creatures that come from various origins and belief systems around the world. Oddly enough, there's no one single story from which they originate, which means that more than one group of people in different parts of the world must have, at some point, had close contact with them. This YouTuber might have too. The YouTube channel Custom Electronics uploaded 19 second footage of a strange creature flying in front of the camera. Look closely and don't be distracted by the cat slinking past in the background. The creature, with a gray aura, flies in front of the security camera and hovers momentarily before taking off. According to the YouTuber, it was a bitterly cold night and there were no other bugs in sight. He went on to say that he had never seen a bug pause mid-flight before. Of course, this unidentified creature could have been a moth or another bug species, but why is it the only one? Why does it pause? Why does it not look like any other bug and more fairy-like than anything? Form your own opinion, but keep your mind open to the possibility that it may have, in fact, been a fairy caught on tape. Number 13. The Green Children of Woolpit For over nine centuries, people young and old throughout the world have been mesmerized by a story that could have proven the existence of fairies, or fairy-like creatures, many hundreds of years ago. No one knows if it's true or not, but the fact that it's a story told in many parts of the world means it might just have some truth to it. As outlined in a 12th century book by William of Newburgh, History of English Affairs, two children, supposedly siblings, turned up in Woolpit, an English village that gets its name from pits dug to protect towns from wild beasts. Having two children enter the town is not strange, but it is when they don't speak a language anyone knows, have green skin the color of leaves, and wear clothing that no one had ever seen before. When the children were offered food, they were confused and preferred to eat raw beans for months. Slowly but surely, the fairy-like children started to blend into the village's way of life. After being baptized, the boy died, but his sister thrived. She learned how to speak English and even started eating different. She lost her green coloring soon after. Once she knew enough English, the townspeople were to hear her story. According to the girl, her brother and herself were from a place known as St. Martin's Land. In this place, everything was green, even the people. When they were herding cattle, they got lost and followed the sound of a bell to end up in this new English world. 
The girl, who was given the name Agnes, supposedly came to be known as impudent and aloof, but she settled down and married in the village. While some people might think this story relates to civil strife, green coloring from malnutrition, and orphaned or kidnapped kids, others are not so sure. There are plenty of people out there who think Agnes's story, and her brother's, are proof that fairies did, and possibly do, exist. Number 12. The Cottingley Fairies In today's technologically advanced world, it's hard to know whether photos are photoshopped or real. But you wouldn't think that would be the case in the early 1900s. The Cottingley Fairies have stumped people around the world for years, and it's only recently we've learned the truth. Or have we? The Cottingland Fairies are little fairy creatures that appear in five photographs with two young cousins, Francis and Elsie. The photos of the young girls, aged 16 and 9, were taken by Elsie Wright and Frances Griffin, who lived in the early 1900s until the late 1980s. In four of the photos, the girls appear to be posing with fairies around them. The fifth photo is purely of the fairies. Writer Sir Arthur Conan Doyle came across the photos and used them in an article he wrote about fairies. As a spiritualist, he was adamant the photos were proof of the existence of fairies. Many others thought they were real as well but some people were naturally skeptical. By the 1920s, most people had forgotten about the photos, including their views on whether or not they were real. However, the possibilities of their existence still lingered at the backs of people's minds. A Daily Express newspaper tracked down one of the photographers, Elsie, in 1966, and she admitted the photos were fake. They had used cardboard cutouts from a children's book. However, both admitted that the fifth photo was genuine. To this day, the cameras and photos sit in the Natural Science and Media Museum in Bradford, England. While Elsie and Francis were happy to admit the photos were fake, with the use of a dark room to play with the background and foreground, they weren't so sure about the final photo. The girls went off on their own with the camera, and the father who owned the camera had never tampered with that final photo as he had with the others. So we can say without a doubt that four of the five photos are fake, but we may never know if the fifth and final one is. Number 11. Trail Cam Footage People have desperately been trying to prove the existence of fairies for centuries, but it could have been as simple as putting out a trail cam. A YouTuber by the name of My Slice of Heaven Outdoors uploaded trail cam footage to YouTube after spotting something a little bit odd in 2019. The man said he had been checking the cameras on his property in Missouri when he noticed wings to the side of the camera. At that point, you couldn't see what the creature was, if anything at all. Near the end of the footage, however, the critter comes in to view. Because it's at night, it's hard to tell with certainty what it is. It also moves at great speed, which makes it increasingly difficult. However, some YouTubers have their own opinions. Some say it looks 100% real, while others believe it's an insect of some kind. Whatever it is, it looks every bit like a fairy, and very little like anything else. Number 10. Tinkerbell in the Garden When hairdresser and photographer Lisa Wildgoose from Towchester, Northampton saw how beautiful the Bluebell Woods were during a family photo shoot, she knew she had to go back. She wanted to use her DSLR camera to capture some lovely wildflower shots. Little did she know, she would get more than just wildflowers in her photos. Lisa, who used to work as a motorsport photographer at Silverstone Motorsport Park, is no stranger to camera trickery. But she's adamant this photo is raw. When she returned home from Bluebell Woods and uploaded the photos to her computer, she spotted what looked like a fairy in the bottom left-hand corner. She immediately showed her daughters Mia and Madison, age 5, who said it was most definitely a fairy and not a fly. Friends and family have also said what's in the photo is no ordinary insect. While there's no way to verify the image, it's something that Lisa, Mia, and Madison will cherish forever. Number 9. Professor Photographed a Fairy Swarm Proof of something can mean many things to many people, but there's no denying these photos taken by a university lecturer are strange. It's up to you whether they're real evidence that fairies exist. John Hyatt, the Manchester Institute for Research and Innovation in Art and Design director at Manchester Metropolitan University, said he took the photos in the British countryside in Rossendale Valley, Lancashire. To prove their worth, he took the photos over a two-year period and said they have not been altered in any way. Many people who have seen 
seen the photos believe they are either flies or gnats. But when he shows them photos of flies and gnats he has taken, they can't believe their eyes. If they're open to the idea that fairies are real, John said, the photos take that proof to the next level. John posted his photos on social media to allow people to make up their minds for themselves. He also put the photos into an exhibition called Rossendale Fairies at the Whitaker Museum in Rossendale. Number 8 Possible fairy sighting in England. They say that things appear when you're not looking for them, and what British woman Phyllis Bacon discovered may be proof of that. In 2009, a British newspaper ran a story about Phyllis, who said she had photographed a fairy in 2007. The photo was taken in her new Addington backyard, and she said she wasn't even looking when she took the photo. Phyllis had been chatting with relatives when she held the camera out into her backyard and snapped a photo. She only noticed the small figure afterward. For the next next few months, Phyllis scoured the internet looking for photos of insects such as beetles, moths, and butterflies that could pass as what she had captured on camera. She didn't want to be called nutty, but she just couldn't find an explanation for her photo. Until anyone tells her otherwise, Phyllis is going to continue believing that she has proof that fairies exist. Number 7. Fairy Skeleton Is it the remains of a marmoset? Is it a falcon's prey? Or is it what a North Carolina man says it is? A real-life fairy. In 2017, a Wilmington, North Carolina man, James Cornyn, stumbled across a tiny skeleton in a falcon nest in the Rocky Mountains. The photos show what looks to be a tiny, human-like skeleton and were posted by Beyond the Science and Historical Pictures online. The photos have stirred up some hot debate, with thousands of shares and comments arguing whether or not the photo does indeed show a fairy or some other creature that looks eerily similar in body structure. According to the Post, the supposed pixie bones are now located in a German facility where other convention-defying biological specimens are stored. We may never know whether the remains are that of a pixie or fairy, but it's hard to deny that there are few other creatures that it could be. Number 6 Fairy Keys and Fairy Doors This next one is either proof that fairies exist or that technology has come a long way and you can make the impossible show on camera. In 2017, a YouTuber with the username FKV posted a time-lapse video over a period of several hours with what was supposed to be real evidence of fairies' existence. According to the user, the camera is set up by his daughter's bedroom and records what happens over the next six hours by a little fairy door. A fairy is seen collecting the door key for the fairy door, flying off, then returning with the key. A soft toy dog is also seen falling over as the fairy makes her grand reappearance. The footage is then replayed in slow motion so that you can get a second chance at viewing the video and forming an opinion for yourself. Whether or not the fairy is a hoax remains a mystery, but it's an intriguing video video all the same. Number 5. Flower Fairies of Thailand Is it a plant? Is it a fairy? Could it be both? National Geographic's Brett Madden captured photos of what looked like the mummified remains of fairies in Thailand. What are they, and what could they represent? Legend states that these little creatures are Neri Pon, or Thai Flower Pod Women Fairies, that are both animal and plant. Their existence has supposedly been verified through X-raying skeletal remains through fruit. There have been sightings of Neri Pon in person within three hours of Bangkok in Thailand. They supposedly have female bodies, a three-foot height, and a camouflage complexion to blend them into their environment. No one knows for sure whether they're a fairy or just a fantasy. What most believe is that Neri Pan are beautiful little creatures that would try and distract Buddha during their daytime meditation. The Buddhist god, Indra, planted the trees from which they came in the Himapan forest for the protection of Prince Vesendara. This legend came from the idea that Neri Pan are fruit that grow on trees, but that come alive once they fall from the tree. They then wither and die within a week, creating a carcass like the one captured in the photo by Brett. You can view the Neri Pan for yourself in a Bangkok temple. They look very much like a mummified fetus, but have long arms and a plant-like structure. Fairy? Strange plant? We may never know. Number 4. Orbs and Fairies 
Whether you believe in fairies or not, it's hard to deny that there's something not quite right about this footage uploaded by New Zealand YouTuber CDB4. In the video, the woman outlines what appears to be a glowing winged creature followed by glowing orb. According to the YouTuber, the little character has shown itself many times in the garden and in different angles and views. It appears to get closer and closer as time goes on and possesses reflective quality. YouTuber CDB Fort uploaded an image of orbs and a glowing winged creature she believes is a fairy or pixie caught on film along with pretty little glowing orb. People were quick to comment that the orbs were dust, but no one had any idea what that glowing little creature was. There's every reason to believe this is proof that fairies actually exist. Number 3 Fairy in a Parking Garage This video leaves more questions than answers. But even if you don't think it's real, you'll be unlikely to find any other answer for what this strange creature in the footage actually is. The YouTuber, Jessica Fisher, is the mere uploader of the footage. She didn't take the footage, nor does she herself know whether it's real or fake. But in it is a person walking around a parking garage filming. They then stumble across a gnome-like creature scuttling across the concrete floor. It quickly disappears between vehicles, and the video ends not long after. You may be wondering two things. Firstly, why you would randomly film inside a parking garage if you weren't expecting anything to show up. Secondly, what on earth is it? It appears to walk on two legs, which rules out many likely creatures such as squirrels, raccoons, and rodents. There's a small likelihood that it's a bird, but their usual preferred mode of transport is their wing. Once you get past the random garage footage, it's worth questioning whether the creature in that footage really is something we may never have seen before. Could this be proof that fairies exist? Number 2. Fairy or Insect Perhaps one of the more damning pieces of evidence to hit the internet on the existence of fairies is from YouTuber HamishMCN in 2008. Hamish is seen filming his kids as they take him on a tour around the property. They show him tadpoles, apples, and other cool natural attractions. They are kids being kids, and it's quite endearing. But the video takes a creepy turn when one of the kids notices a strange insect in the tree. The YouTuber leans in for a closer look. At first, it looks like a dragonfly. Nothing inconspicuous or odd about that. But as it goes to take off, its form changes. Instead of a dragonfly, it looks like a human-looking skeleton with wing. It promptly takes off, leaving more questions than answers for the man behind the camera. In the video, the man asks if there are any insect experts out there who could identify what it is. But we think he knows full well what it's likely to be. And it's no insect. Number 1. Popstar Captures Fairy Evidence Musician John Rutledge from the Naughty's comedy rap group Goldie Lookin' Chain got the fright of his life when he stumbled across a family of fairy. John had been out walking the countryside in Newbridge, Wales when he snapped a summer photo of nature with his dog in the foreground. He thought nothing of it, but then noticed something in the photo later. Among the grass and flowers, he saw at least seven flying creatures in a small group. They all appeared to have have arms, legs, and wings, and were around one inch in height. They were also translucent in appearance. John said later that when he looked at the photo, he was in shock. He couldn't believe what he was seeing, and zoomed in to see if they were real or a trick of the camera. Ever since he was a child, John had wanted to witness something paranormal, but never in his wildest dreams had he imagined it would be a family of pixie-like creatures in a wooded lot of South Wales. John believes many things in life go without answers, but but this photo was possible proof that fairies exist. There are definitely fairies at the bottom of the garden, he told the Sun newspaper. Coincidentally, or not at all, John was on the lookout for a new location for his podcast series at the time. The topic? Common myths and mysteries. You be the judge. Some of this evidence is seemingly undeniable, or at least unexplainable without further investigation. Did any of these seem to be real evidence of fairies existing? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.